Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We had a nice shot of moderate snow roll through Colorado with a smaller storm. You can see this is Crest Butte live camera there. They picked up six, seven, eight inches out of that alone. And we're now we're going to start to see the bigger numbers come in as the main storm, the main event rolls in. Aspen Snowmass also did well. Copper Mountain, all these places are going to add quite a bit more over the next 24, 12 to 24 hours. Let me show you the big picture here on a satellite over the, uh, the Pacific Ocean. Um, so there's the first little low that moved through. Now the larger storm, the main event of the trio. There was a trio. This one's coming out of California. This is the one that has the coldest air, the most wind support to help drive the snow. So we'll have more efficiency. We'll have more snow production. A lot of places across the western slope of Colorado running all the way into Utah will see a foot or more out of this storm. In fact, some places in the southern mountains of Colorado, two feet plus. Um, also notice the next low coming out of the Gulf of Alaska. That will be part of a weak to moderate atmospheric river setup initially for the Pacific Northwest. Then it's going to slide all the way down the west coast and affect California, which will then become a storm for the inner mountain west by early to the middle part of next week. So let me just show you what that's going to look like. Um, let's look at the future radar. This is the American GFS interpretation. So that's the current, here comes the current situation. There comes the low into Colorado spinning up, um, drags a pretty good band of snow through the Wasatch and also Bryan Head in Southern Utah and then into Western Colorado, the San Juans, and then through the central and northern mountains of Colorado as well. 993, it spins up there in southeast Colorado. So this is Friday morning right here. You can see we're, we're, the storm's moving through the state and then it begins to taper and the winds shift, the air dries out and Colorado clears into Saturday morning. So the bulk of this is happening today. I'm backing it up here. The bulk of it is happening today in Utah tonight into Friday morning in Colorado, and then the storm exits. So then look at the Pacific Northwest. Saturday, just getting absolutely nailed with that uh, atmospheric river flow. 30 to 50 inches up there from Timberline to Rainier to Stevens Pass to Baker up in a Whistler Black Home. And then all that drops south. And look at the look at the deep blue settling into California on Sunday night and through the day on Monday and Tuesday. That could be significant snow in the Sierra, which is fantastic. We need that. It's going to push the snow levels up a little bit. That could be a problem, but at this point, we'll just look at pure snow, uh, mid-mountain and higher. Um, and by the time we get to the 14th and the 15th, that low breaks loose, drives snow into Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, southwest Montana, and then eventually into Colorado. Look at that by Wednesday. This is Wednesday morning right here. We could be looking at a lot of wind and snow through the high country of Colorado, both Utah and Colorado would do well. I'll show you what I'm thinking as far as uh, snow estimates with this coming up. Uh, in fact, right now, we'll do this in two time pieces. So between today through the 12th, so today through the 12th, you can see the numbers in Colorado, one to two feet with less in Summit County, less over the Continental Divide up at Loveland, A Basin, Winter Park, Eldora, eight to 12, eight to 14 for most of those areas. The big numbers are Western Slope, Colorado, uh, and the Western Slope down through um, the San Juans, where one to two feet will be. Um, Utah will do well, a foot plus. Um, and look at the big numbers with that atmospheric river setup in the Pacific Northwest, 30 to 50 inches, about a foot up around Fernie to Sunshine Village. And then let's look at piece number two. So this is the 13th through the 17th. Um, I, a couple of things stand out. Obviously, the numbers in California are extraordinarily large, 50 to 70 inches. That's possible if this come if this sets up as forecast. Um, Utah, one to two feet. Colorado, uh, anywhere from six to fourteen over the I-70 corridor north, and then a, a lot down in the San Juans again. Another couple of feet. Boy, this could be a banner stretch for Silverton down to, to uh, Wolf Creek. Amazing numbers. Um, and, and, but you can see what happens. The Pacific Northwest gets lighter. All the emphasis has shifted to the Intermountain West and uh, California, basically into Utah and Colorado. Let me just show you my uh, plume, and I put a few different ski areas on this. You can see, I look all the way out to the 17th, and there are definitely two surges of snow. One right now, um, Loveland, Crested Butte, Park City, and Jackson Hole, and then another surge coming in as that California storm breaks loose and moves into the interior, 14, 15, 16. So um, we're looking okay. Uh, you can see the numbers there. Um, it's going to be a powder weekend. I hope everybody enjoys it. We'll add more powder next week. 
Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.